Okay, so first things first, I gotta remove this old crappy fence because this is not gonna work at all. We've gotta tear this down, so let's get to work. Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back. Um, so I've got a trailer here. I've got it loaded down with some new bison equipment. We've got a uh, 10 foot poly uh, trough that I got. Um, it's nice just to have a couple of extra, just, you know, especially um, the herd is getting a little bit bigger and so it's nice to have extra room for, um, you know, for everybody to eat. And then the other thing I got was a 14-foot gate that I'm going to use uh, for part of our handling system that we're going to um, use for uh, an emergency kickout. Um, and I'll show it to you um, here in just a little bit. And then I've got some concrete. So what I'm going to do today is I am going to start digging some holes and set some posts for our corral system that I showed you last uh, in my last video. We're gonna get that started. And so, got some, got some labor to do. I'm gonna dig the holes, uh, you know, using the good old fashioned work hands. And so, that's what I'm gonna do and get these posts set so we can start hanging those um, 20 foot panels um, that I showed you in the last video. We're gonna get them hung up and get this corral going while I got this pretty weather here we go okay so first things first I got to remove this old crappy fence because this is not gonna work at all we've got to tear this down so let's get to work and so that's what's left that is gonna go to the recycle now we've just got the fence done got it all taken out I'm gonna remove some of these T posts get her taken care of okay one thing I gotta do first before I start um, digging holes for this pipe is I gotta run a line from our existing pipe down to our new pipe down there. So I'm gonna run a string line and then I wanna make sure that when I dig these holes and set this pipe, we're in a straight line. Okay, so it's time to get to work. Hold on a second, somebody came to visit me. What's up big dog? I may or may not have treats. Old Dunbar. Do you even know what you're named after? One of the greatest movies ever. Dances with Wolves. Kevin Costner, Lieutenant John J. Dunbar. One of my favorite movies ever i may or may not show it to my students every year i do teach oklahoma history so um you know native american culture i love it and that's a that's a great movie plus it's got these guys in it huh he just wanted to see what was going on up here working on his new corral that i hope to gosh he doesn't jack up Cause he's been breaking just about everything. He can flip gates, break uh, feed troughs, gets in the water bucket. Uh, he's not that mean, but he's just being a bull, I guess. Big boy. 
Uh -huh. Some more treats. I'm just feeding him some uh, three quarter inch cattle cubes. Some of the cake, as some people call it. Candy is what I call it. They know what it is and it's their favorite. Just 14% cattle cubes is all they are. There you go, big boy. Didn't know if you guys noticed or not, I had some more company. One of the favorites, Eleanor. Eleanor came to say hi. She's been walking up and down the fence, wants some of this green grass and probably wants some of them sugar cubes. Huh? <laughs> oh, Eleanor. So we're gonna use some two and three eighths pipe, oil filled pipe. We're gonna use it. I'm gonna cut um, eight foot links. We're gonna set them in the ground two feet and put them in concrete. So I gotta get I gotta get to cutting. Okay, well that's it. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six posts set in cement. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to come back through. We've got these 20 foot apart. We're gonna come back through and drive with a tractor. We're gonna drive the rest in the ground. So we concreted every 20 feet um, of this uh, two and three eighths post right down the line here. But the first phase of this corral that we've got here. So the boss has been hanging out with me this evening. Just always curious of what's going on. But here we go. This is the first phase. Nice to work. Sorry, Dunbar. Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Well, Remember those posts I told you we're gonna, um, we're not gonna concrete, I already concreted the, um, every 20 feet we put them in concrete. We're gonna go back through and we're gonna use this John Deere to drive in the other posts uh, that are in between. So um, we'll have a post every 10 foot and uh, you know every 20 foot they're concreted so we're gonna drive the rest of these on there. So I'm very thankful for 
people like uh, our neighbor, you, you've seen this big green tractor um, in, in quite a few of my videos doing the large handling equipment and, uh, and whatnot, but I really need to give a shout out to our neighbor um, who just lives right next to our farm. His name's Larry Muck. Um, him and his wife are super nice people and um, he never hesitates to, to, uh, to let us do um, use his tractor. And so um, just very thankful for people uh, like them. Yeah, um, you know, when you're starting out as a new farmer, it's, it's nice to have people like that so you can get stuff done. And um, when you're moving big equipment and doing big projects, um, it's really nice to have equipment like this. But couldn't do all this without uh, good people um, like Larry. So um, thank you, Larry, for letting us do this and borrow your tractor and bugging you all the time. So thank you. Why am I losing my breath? Because I'm carrying these 30 foot joints and they're heavy. Okay, you guys saw how easy those posts drove in the ground. That's because we've had a lot of rain. It's rained at least once or twice um, a week here in Southern Oklahoma. So those posts, it didn't take them much to get two feet in the ground. So now we've got them all set. Now we're gonna add the top rail. We've got 30 foot two and three eighths joints. We're gonna put all up and down here as our top rail. And then we're gonna come back and we'll add those um, pre-made panels that we're going to, uh, which is gonna make our corral basically, those 20 foot panels um, that you saw in the last video. So time to get out the cutting torch and welder and get this top rail done. Let's get it done. All right, so we used the tractor, got the post driven in the ground. It went through really easy because this ground is wet. But um, so we also started on the top rail. We've got a big portion of this. Now this is not that big of a corral. It's only like, I don't know, we're, we're doing this first stretch is only 140 feet long. But here we go. We got the top rail started right here. Um, and it goes down kind of on this first stretch here. But something I do want to show you gives you an idea of what this is going to look like. Okay, um, we went ahead and hung this up, but what I want you to see is the panel. What's really cool about these um, panels, these um, pre made panels, is they come with these little joints here. Um, and they all have a little nick on them right there, which is awesome. And so just slide this in here and we'll connect our next panel and attach it here. And you can see they're all here. Got a little bead on them right there. We'll slide the other joint over. We're gonna use a, a clamp. Uh, here we'll weld the clamp to the actual two and three eighths um, And that's how we'll attach it Speaking of neighbors another neighbor I want to thank is Russell Allen um, He's another neighbor really close to us um, He's let us borrow pop to finish uh, some projects. He's let us borrow his um, Long trailer like right here is 20 foot trailer to haul some stuff um, I, I got to haul the squeeze chute and the alley system on it and, and some pipe and stuff. So like I said before, um, having neighbors that have equipment is nice, but the most important part is having really nice neighbors and people that just don't even care, don't want any money or anything. And uh, you just love that and hope that you can return the favor at some point to people like, uh, to people, to people like Larry and Russell to get, have good neighbors like that. So 
you guys probably know what I'm talking about, but um, just appreciate those people like that. And I'm um, always telling them thank you. So you probably noticed there's some, I look a little bit different and there was a, there was a gap between the first part of my video and, and the second half of my video. And that's because, um, you know, we had a dramatic change uh, to my wife and myself's life. Um, we uh, brought a baby into this world um, on Sunday, February 9th. We uh, brought our little baby girl, Mama, and baby are doing great, and um, life has changed, as we know. And um, so, I hadn't got to spend as much time out here um, doing all the projects and hanging out with the bison, but that's okay. That's not what's important, is taking care of that baby girl. But um, I'm falling all over in love again, and, and uh, I enjoy it. And uh, hopefully pretty soon you guys will be able to meet our little girl and uh, introduce you guys to her maybe at some point but um so some changes are are are, are happening or and underway um she came a couple weeks early um but that was expected with uh how mama was going and how she was doing so but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video and you can see the changes taking place not only in my life you're not seeing it but what you are seeing is we are building this uh, corral for bison. And that's always something people ask and talk about. You know, you have normal fencing, which we use um, barbed wire is our exterior fence. But, um, you know, for a corral system, we're using this right here where there's gonna be a lot of traffic. And, um, you know, we're gonna have these bison in here quite a, fit, quite a bit and, um, so you need something tough, especially if you're working them and whatnot. And this stuff right here, these pre-made panels um, are gonna do the job. Once we get everything finished, we'll be able to put these bison in this run right here and they'll have a little bit more room. So anyways, thank you guys for following. Thank you uh, for your support and your comments. Um, hit that subscribe button and follow us along.